Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Norbers, where we are going to continue the wonderful story that is Hitman's Baby. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, where is the star of this video? Where is our ginger beautiful god? Our little Lord Byron, yes? He is currently napping in his bed and I did not want to wake him because like you guys all know I'm weak to him, okay? I can't force him to work. I really wish he was in my arms and showing you all a distaste for all of this camera and lights he honestly senses the camera like it's his like like a spidey sense it's really weird he'll be sleeping and i'll be filming him and all of a sudden he's like are you filming me how does he know i have no idea i guess it's a cat thing who knows let me know if your pets do something like that as well if they can sense when you're filming them when they're doing something adorable or something naughty anyway so i was thinking about the story fighting temptation with l and zeth and honestly i agree with a lot of you guys in the comments where you're saying the story is honestly not that great in my opinion like it's a great story we already love the shirley's but i think it's a little predictable after all the shirley stories we've done in terms of like we already know that they're gonna end up together we know they're gonna have baron right so i feel like it's not as interesting as like dahlia's story or luna's story or really like any other story there so that one I'm, I think I may stop now I'm going to start another story I'm not sure if it's going to be from the Shirley series or by the same author but there are a lot of amazing stories on episode right now and they're coming up every single day and they're brand new so I'm really excited about that so I'm gonna check those out and also your recommendations like I said I have a list so everything that you guys suggest I actually read and try and see if it's something that we could potentially do so once again let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments below and your suggestions and I'll check them out and now without further ado this is Lord Brian's Instagram my Instagram our TikTok give this video a like and this is Hitman's Baby chapter 10 there are only two chapters left so in the previous chapter, another hit man, hit, hit woman, uh, pretty much shot at us. And we don't know what's happening because we're preggers. So you can't just shoot at a pregnant person, okay? Just the stress of it alone is dangerous. What are you doing? Turn around, jerk. <gasps> Whoa, who's behind us? Oh my god. Leo, who is that? I have no idea. This is getting out of hand. I, okay, first of all, we're out on a boat. Like, way too many people know where we are. It's not that safe. We need to get you out of here. A nice thank you would suffice. Thank you. I need you to go down to my room and stay there until I come and get you. I'm bringing us back to Cape Town and I'm going to make sure Vincent won't be a problem for us ever again. Thank you, honey bunny, for protecting us. You can't kill Vincent. Go along with this idea. Please, we're gonna go along with this idea. What is this going to solve? Everything. Okay. If you want to be part of this baby's life, you can't be in prison, okay? Just think on that. I don't get caught. Hot, okay none of us do i still don't like it i don't want to sound like i'm telling you what to do but i'm telling you what to do but i really need you to go downstairs until i know it's safe please uh, i think i'm going to be sick what do i do hold her hair back dummy oh poor poor luna with her morning i mean jora with her morning sickness are you okay uh, obviously not i'm fine come on prego let's go downstairs and figure something out we'll let the boys keep scratching their We'll let the boys keep scratching their heads while trying to come up with something. I shot Leo one more glance before following Candy downstairs. One of these. <gasps> I trusted her, didn't trust her. I trusted her, why not? I trusted her. She seemed to have more than a few loose screws, but something about her felt right. Like the fact that she just shot someone for me, you know, that could be it. What do you think Leo would do to the both of us if he was down here too? Excuse me? God, I've never wanted to take a bite out of him more than I do now. Maybe it's something to do with how protective he is over you and that baby. I want to lick his abs and jack my nails down his back. Put her in her place. That's your man. Let her walk all over you. Um, excuse you, Candy. Watch your back. Do you have any sort of self-respect? I like you. <laughs> Are you staying down here with me? Because I'm not sure about that. I wanted to run something crazy past you. I'm listening. I want to bring you to Vincent. What? Excuse me, Leo won't like that. I'm going to say what? Um, what? I know, I know. It sounds insane. But if I bring you to him, people will stop trying to kill you in that little bundle of joy you have in your belly. I can't go with you. I don't think you have a choice in the matter, baby mama. How the hell did I get myself into something like this? Wait, so is she not a good person? She's actually threatening us right now. I reached for my phone that was on the bed. I knew I wouldn't have time to text anyone, but I could at least start something. Leave a note on your phone for Leo. Don't leave any trace. 
What? Of course we're gonna leave a note for our mans. I look how he's just in the open doing it. Candy's taking me to fit. Leave your cell phone and come with me. I will not. I didn't want to have to use chloroform. What? But it's so bad for the baby. Leo. I scream at the top of my lungs for Leo. Can you stop being so dramatic? I'm trying to help you. Ugh, rude. Breathe. Darkness. Quiet, overwhelming, sensory defined darkness. What are you doing? I'm going to see if you'll cut me a deal if I bring you to him alive. Are you insane? I've been told that many, many times. My body felt drunk, but my mind was clear. After effects of the chloroform, I could hardly stand and held onto the railing as tightly as I could. He won't pay you, you know. He's a cheap, self-absorbed jerk. Well, then I suppose I'll just kill him. This would have been so much easier if Leo hadn't knocked you up. I couldn't sit here and do nothing. I had to jump overboard. Kidding. I need to try something. Jump overboard, swim to shore, knock her out with the anchor. Sit by and let her bring you to vincent i'm gonna knock her out with the anchor yep that's right that's how we roll and she is passed out i can't believe i just did that i drove the boat until i was close enough to shore i stole the keys and i jumped off and swam to onto land <laughs> As soon as my feet felt land, I ran. I ran as fast as I could towards the boardwalk. Towards people. What is happening? Darkness had taken over the golden sky and I was soaked. I couldn't tell if I was shaking because I was colder because of the adrenaline pumping through my veins. All I cared at this moment was keeping Shrimpy safe. But then it happened. Darkness crept in and a numb feeling took over my body. My legs gave out from underneath me and I drifted into darkness as I fell into the sand below. At least pass out in a corner where no one will find you. Ah. Oh. What did you want to do for dinner? Jora? Shoot! Oh no. Vincent! Fork! And then he chased us. How far out are we from Cape Town? About five miles. Why? That psychopath took Jora. I should have just thrown her overboard when I had the chance. Put this thing in top speed. We need to find her now. I get to kill Candy when we find them. Oh, please. Just get the thing moving. I'm texting her friends off her phone to tell them to keep an eye out for her until we get there. Smart man. Hey, it's Leo. Jorah has been taken by a girl with bright pink hair. She's taking her to Vincent. I'm on my way, but in the meantime, do either of you know how to use a gun? Um, what? And of course I know how to use a gun, bar guy. How did this happen? Just start looking for her. I'll be in town in half an hour. Chrissy, we have a pink-haired bimbo to find. I'll meet you at Vincent's house in 10. Don't go in there, guns blazing. Don't tell me what to do. I can take care of myself. I know you can. Oh, good friends I have morning um her name is jora carter i've contacted her husband vincent carter tell him no she's here did the man that brought her in say what happened i knew you looked familiar cool he said he found her on the boardwalk outside the fair wait they called vincent you guys what's the plan i thought you had the plan no i was winging it good thing we have a plan then right ah ew i don't need your help we're going to be friends someday yeah we'll see about that hey i'm nick he tried killing Jorah, so, you know, get angry at him. Touch her, and I'll kill you. Also, at this point, who hasn't tried killing Jorah? I've already been informed I'm not allowed to touch her. Don't worry. Okay, seriously, though? What's the plan? Someone's coming. Shh. She's where? The hospital? Of course. I'll be right there. Uh-oh. Vincent's on the prowl for us. Do you think he was talking about Jorah? Justin and I will do a walkthrough of the house. You guys go follow him. Smart and beautiful. I like girls, Fabio. <laughs> Come on, Fabio. Uh-oh. My darling wife! <gasps> Vincent? Um, Vincent, what is he doing here? Yell for him to get out. Cry, panic. I'm gonna yell for him to get out. Get out! You need to lay back down, Jora. Get him out of here! Mr. Carter, I need you to leave now. I will not leave my wife. I'm not your wife, you psychopath. What's going on here? It doesn't concern you. I'm taking my wife home now. I cannot let you do that. Sorry. <gasps> Did he just shoot our doctor? This is not happening. Scream, kick, fight, punch. Let him take you. I'm gonna do all of the above. Help! Did you hear that? That sounded like a gunshot. Jora. Oh my god. Get away from me. Did he just punch us? You made my nose bleed, you witch. Someone help! Punch him, kick him, kick him. That's right, always between the legs. Now run. <laughs> Ooh. My feet had never moved faster in my life. I need to keep Shrimpy safe. Come on, where's where's our man? Where are you going in such a hurry? Uh-oh, guys, it's the evil incarnation it right himself shoot oh my god that was a crazy chapter i can't even there's only two left wow what do you guys think is going to happen do you think james is going to kidnap us and then maybe try to blackmail us into giving our shares to him so he takes some money or do you think he's going to be loyal to vincent or do you think our boy leo is going to come and save us or do you think candy is going to come save us or maybe you know kidnap us again so many variations of a rescue or a kidnapping who knows let me know your thoughts in the comments below give this video a like subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys later bye